Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm going to review one week of options. This was the week expiring September 22nd on the Gap Options newsletter. Now, the Gap Options newsletter is a subscription service. It is a service where I have no prerequisites. So if you want to sign up, you do not have to have taken any of my classes. It is only options call. So you will get the newsletter directly to your inbox. We are buying calls and selling them and buying puts and selling them. So the only trades that you're going to get on this is trades that are options. And again, I'm calling the options for you. I'm doing the gap ratings. This is not something where you're going to learn how I do it. So if you want to learn how I make the picks on the newsletter, you would have to take the Golden Gap course. There are, I'd say, half the people in the newsletter have never taken the class, and then half of them have. So it's pretty much split up down the middle. It's been that way really since I've started. So some people have no interest in learning and they just want to get the trades and they trade and they've been with me for years trading options. And some people do want to learn. They do want to know how to do it. And of course, I think that's the best thing because you want to know I'm making the picks so you can trade better and do it for yourself. And you will have a higher level of conviction again if you know what to do. Like today, you would said, oh, or yesterday when we did BA. We did the BA puts. You say, oh, I know this is good. And you rate it, you get the same thing as me. And then I call the trade and then you do it. So I think learning helps. But this was a particularly good week. During the week of September, this is an advanced trader risk that I'm going to review. I will do a video for beginner traders. I've obviously been doing this a long time. So my risk is higher than someone that is new. I have an advanced risk. You can risk what works for you for your cash, and that is, in fact, what you need to do. This was really one of the best weeks that we had in the last month. The opportunity was there, and we played it. Um, I'm going to try to make the time to do more videos like this with more weeks of showing the trade so you can see what you get on the newsletter. Again, there are weeks that we are super duper busy. There are weeks we've been busier than this. This just happened to be a particularly good week because we had very large moves in the market and we were doing market trades. And interestingly enough, this was not earnings season. Typically, the biggest time and the best time to trade is earnings season, which started today. So even though this was a huge week, we could have a bigger week than this this month in October, which would be great, actually. <laughs> so we, fingers crossed, and we will see if everything aligns beautifully. But let's get to the week. So this was... a week of the 22nd expiration Friday, I do the Friday expirations, win ratio was 93%. And again, average return investment, this included the loser, was 231%. Advanced trader risk per trade for me is around 8,000. So if you had risked around that, some were a little bit more, some were a little bit less, you could have made $283,925 in one week, which is fantastic. Obviously, you have to have the money to take all the trades and be in them all at once. So this is me. If you have any questions, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So for me, it's all about making money. If you know me, you know that. I'm very motivated to make money, which is one of the reasons I created my system in the first place. I did it for myself, never to teach anybody else. And then it evolved into that, just like then it evolved into me appearing on television. So Things evolve in life, and you never know where this could lead. You could start trading, you could take my class, you could do options with me, and then all of a sudden you're doing something you never even imagined before yourself. That could go above and beyond trading even, while you're trading. So you never know what opportunities exist. You have to try. You have to get to the next level. You have to do something if you want to change your financial circumstances. And trading really does offer unlimited potential if you know what to do. This is a great week and a great example. And again, I'm going to do a video on the beginner risk in a separate a separate segment, but people always say, well, you need this much money to trade. No, you don't. You can take a small risk. You can trade options with one contract and still build a small account into a larger account. So we had 15 trades this week. You know, it wasn't a slow week, but we've had busier weeks. One loser, zero break even, 14 winners, and the win ratio is 93%. Again, this was the week that ended and expired on the 22nd. So again, solid week, good week. Everything I do is based on my golden gap rating system. It's the 26 points. That's how I'm making these picks. That's how I'm getting these kinds of results. When you have big weeks like this, it helps for the weeks where you have losing trades or even a losing week. So, you know, 
there are trades that I take that lose. So you have to know that when you choose your risk, there will be trades that do not work and you take that risk accordingly. But luckily we have way more winners and losers. And then we do have some huge weeks like this week and huge winners. And so that is how you can really pull ahead in a big, big way. And it helps for people with a small account and a big account. But the process I do in the morning is I get up in the pre-market, I rate the gap using the Golden Gap course checklist. It's the 26 points. This is what you'd come and learn in my class. It's a paid class that I do once a month. There's only three more classes this year. Price of the class is $69.99 and everyone pays the same. Again, the options newsletter is something that you can sign up. It's a subscription service that gets emailed to you in live time where you take the trade, targets are on the letter, letter and you will manage it yourself, choose your risk, and determine your exits. Even though I have targets on the letter, some people just set it and, and set it to sell the trade at 50% or 100% if they can't watch the targets. So again, this is 922 expiration. Wednesday the 13th, in the pre-market, you see when this letter went out, 9.16 in the morning, I called this buy 445s. That expired the following Friday. So I gave it that cushion of time. This was a, this was a nice call. I saw the market was gonna continue lower, again, rating the gap, and then I sent out this trade. So 9.13, here. So again, snug as a bug you see where this is i called the 445s now i want to point out the trade was upside down on the 14th then it fell gap down here in the 15th and then here's the move so one of the things i tell people is do not risk more than you can afford to lose so that you can let each trade play out some people kill the trades of the down 50 percent i do not i will ride it out till it works if it goes bust into the expiration that I'm losing in the trade, or I save what I can the last day. So this is a prime example of, again, something extremely professional that I'm able to do, which is see that something's gonna drop off, even with the rally that we had the day after, held the trade, believed in it, held the conviction. And again, this is where understanding what to do really, really, really counts. And then of course we had this reversal. This was back the Fed day, we were up here, we were falling, but again, this was already a nice, nice trade. You could have even held this into the last day. But when somebody's up this much, um, you know, it's one of these things where you do have to book profits. There, occasionally, I will hold something in the last day, occasionally. But you could have made more holding this the last day. <laughs> Cost was $3, which was reasonable. Remember, the SPY now is over $400 a share. It's not cheap. 25 contracts was a risk of 7,500, sold at 13. Again, profit $25,000 for one trade. You would have had to take it on the 13th, hold it through the rally from the 14th, get the drop, then the flush, and then exit on the 21st. But you could have got out before this. You could have held it into the last day. Again, you could not have screwed this trade up unless you killed it on the 14th. But, you know, why would you do that when you have a week and a half to go is my point. That's why people just don't, they don't understand enough what to do. And they kill trades that they shouldn't be killing and they take trades they shouldn't be taking. So I know what I'm doing here and that's one of the reasons why I'm so successful, but the class really helps you. Anyways, return on investment, 333%. Again, we're trading momentum. A put is a short. So again, here's the momentum to the downside. This is selling, this is selling pressure. The bears were in control here, okay? On that week, that was that week and a half, that was September. Then we did the Apple puts, the 175s. Again, I call this a little bit after the open. Usually calling trades in the morning. Same day, the 13th. Let's find it here. This was a little wily. Um, again, you got the drop. Then you had the push back here. Then the drop. This was the one that I lost in. Again, it just seemed to be in a range bound. Cost was two dollars and thirty cents. Contract was thirty five. You you were actually up the first day, but I wasn't up enough. I didn't feel like to get out. Um, again, risk eight thousand fifty. Sold at eighty cents. It lost. Not a hundred percent loss, but it, it, this lost. And again, this is one of these things where you give it a chance to go. Could have gone. Could have gone to one seventy two. Could have gone to one seventy. 
could have gone to the numbers I wanted it to, market went, why didn't this go, who knows? Sometimes trades don't work and there isn't any reason. And again, once you understand that, you're gonna be a lot better off too. Again, you have, you're playing the odds. I'm playing the odds, that's why I have the 26 points. The, the points are putting the odds in my favor so that I can take more winning trades than losing trades. There's no 100% in anything. And if anyone tells you that, that's crap. Even this week, an outstanding week, this lost. You can see why it lost. It just, it never got the traction. It never really sold off. It never got the momentum. It, I wouldn't have gone long this. You wouldn't have made anybody going long this either. It just, it was a nothing burger, basically. Then we did the 372 puts again the same day. This was 1015. That's not late. That's still early enough. 372 puts in the QQQs. Again, another beautiful sell-off. Take it up. Again, reversed the following day. Gap down here, fell off a cliff. Boom. This is another one that continued lower. 350, again, very reasonable price. You could have done one contract and risked $350 and could have made almost 300%. Return investment was 286%. Again, buying it at 350, then selling the price of the option at 1350. I pick a number, I put it out there, I leave it, I watch it. I have the targets. Again, the targets are on the letter, letter but if you are busy during the day and cannot watch trades, Put a number out there. If it hits, it's a limit order. It's a day order. It'll cancel if it doesn't hit by four. Or you watch it. So I can watch things. Profits, $25,000 on this particular one with an 87.50 risk. Again, you could risk more. You could have risked less. But the, the momentum is, it was the <clears throat> reason that this went so big. And I just want to show you, this was the 21st. So again, the 372s. You see here where this was around 357 and change. So not quite $20 through the strike, about 15 or so. And, 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 and when you look at it, you're like, and again, this was down. And then boom. That's one of the reasons people get upset about this market. They say, oh, it's sucked me in to go long. And then it flipped around. Or people say the same thing about shorting. You have to know what you're doing. I had 100% conviction this would go. You take the train, you take the risk, you play it out. Can't make money like this unless you're willing to take risks, that's for sure. But you do have to know what you're doing or follow someone like me that knows what they're doing. This was another nice one, Netflix. We did the 400 puts. This is another put. Again, set it out, but this was the second day. This was the 14th at 10 a.m. in the morning. So let's look at this one. And I thought it was late in this. I was not, um, I was not late in this. I'm glad that we did it. It was a beautiful drop. Again, selling momentum. This, you couldn't have screwed this up if you tried. You take the trade, you let it drop. It's exactly what happened here. It was beautiful. Wasn't cheap though. Cost was $6, 15 contracts was a risk of 9,000. Again, for a higher risk, you did the best you can. This is not exact science. If your risk is 1,000, then you should be risking five. Sold at $16, profit 15,000. Return on investment for this Netflix was 167%. I forget where this was the last day, but it was a great train. And um, again, I, I even was questioning if I was late in this. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I was, I was like, oh, I should have did this earlier, but it was still 10 a.m. You know, and then the momentum came in. So many people are afraid of playing momentum. So many people are afraid of playing momentum and they're afraid of doing trades late. I'm so strict with myself, you know, but I tend to be early, actually, just like with that market trade. Like, I will be early, then be down, and then it goes huge in my favor. That, that's me. I can see so far in advance sometimes where something's going to go. So I tend to be early, but that, that one I was a little, I was about a half an hour late. Uh, Adobe, this worked. It was a positive trade. It did not go as big as I wanted. Why? Who knows? Uh, this was, in fact, I haven't looked at this since. Friday the 15th at 9.12, sent it out in the pre-market, which is when I send most of the trades in the morning. Strike was 5.30. Again, very expensive stock to trade. Better to do it as an option. And here's what this did. Again, this did not work out the way that I thought, even though it worked. This was earnings. Stock close here, gap down. Again, we did the 5.30s. It just sat in its butt, rallied here, then finally got the drop and got the flush. And again, why that was stuck, I don't know. Uh, I 
thought it would go bigger than that. Anyways, cost was $7, contracts was $10, $7,000 risk, sold at $15, that's a good trade. Bing, bam, boom, in and out. You could just put it at 100%, whatever you pay for it, and if it fills, it fills. Again, that trade reversed and was down before it went. And I, my expectation of this was it was going to go way bigger, which it would have, <laughs> actually, if it had fallen more the first day. I would have got in and got out of it if it gone down to 520 on the 15th. It just, it just didn't for whatever reason. But it was a good trade and it worked. Then we also did on Friday, right after the open, new, which was a nice one. 160 puts again, beautiful move in the new. Stock closed here, gap down, dropped, fell off a cliff. Fell off an absolute cliff. Again, time of the day here was right after the open, okay? So you get the trade, you take it. Cost was cheap. $2.50, you get a big fat red bar like that. Beautiful trade. That's selling, selling pressure. Again, I rated the gap in new. It rated to short it. It was a gap down. 35 contracts for 87.50, sold at 525. You, you, and again, you can watch it, watch for the targets, roll it out into the close, or you could put, you could have put in a, a sell order at five. Profit was $9,625, 110% return on investment. And that is in one day. So you would take it in one day and get out in one day. Okay. So again, another put. We did Navinia. This was one ten forty nine. I sent this, 915. We did the 445s, so let's find this here. Again, here we are. So this closed here, and then, well, actually, no, let's go back here. Here's the 14th. Here's the 15th. Then it fell. Then it gapped down here. Then it fell, and you would want to be out somewhere in here while this is falling. So that was on the 18th. This was not cheap either. It could have been more expensive. $8.50, 10 contracts, 8,500. Risk, again, an advanced trader risk. Sold at 22. Profit was $13,500 and 159% return investment. I wouldn't say this was a fast trade, um, but again, going back to this, you could have got out of this on Friday if you wanted to. I forget what it was up Friday, but you could have. But the biggest play was to get the follow through in the gap down here. Again, one of the benefits of doing options is you can trade and hold overnight with a fixed risk. So if this trade had lost, the most I would have lost was what? $8,500. So sometimes it's worth holding something. I thought this had more drag on it. I thought we had the market in our favor. And again, it was pricey. We have plenty of time left. Again, but that actually continued. I'm just looking at this here. This continued here on the 21st. Looks like that broke 410. So that was a way, way, way bigger trade, actually, if you held it. <laughs> but, you know, you're going to have to make a decision for yourself when you're doing something and you get something that falls, drops, hits a target. You know, I'm watching for the chart targets, okay? So in this case here, 430 was a target. It had gone through that in the gap. I'm talking about on the Monday. So, you know, I, I, you're not going to get the highest price exit in an option to exit all the time. Although sometimes I do, or close to it. But you shouldn't get the worst either. So again, you're, the idea is not to have a beautiful trade like this and then let it retrace against you. That would be, that would be terrible. You can't be up by more than 100% and then lose that trade. So you got to start watching once it starts to get a move. And again, if it has a follow through, follow through in the gap, then you would be watching to get out that particular day or you could get out of half. Now, I also like to do multiple strikes as something is going, whether it's up or down. We did that in the SPY in the queues. We did the 442 SPYs. Expired on, this is all the 22nd and did this one on the Friday. Again, it's kind of late, kind of late, but I did it. Uh, let's see where we here, the 15th. Oh yeah, here this was. So this closed here, gap down, fell, and again, it was falling into it. It was falling into the number, so I did it above the strike here. Sometimes I do them at the money, sometimes I do them above, but this was actually the biggest trade of the week. Why? Because it was so, 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 so cheap. And the only reason I could think it was so cheap 
was because we did it here on Friday. We, we, we weren't at the strike on Friday. And we also did it early, considering when we did it, this wasn't here. So we did the 442s like, I don't remember what price it was exactly, but it was like we hadn't, we hadn't gone all the way down for the day. So we did it early enough in the day, 11 a.m., that it was far enough away from the strike that the price was so cheap. And that's one of the reasons it was such a big trade. So we, I could see, I could foresee that it was going to continue and follow through and fall. I don't, I personally don't think four or five dollars is far away from the strike, but I guess the pricing did. A dollar twenty-five for this was such a great price, though, and this is one of the reasons this was such a big trade. The cost of the price was cheap, and we were in it early. Remember, I said I tend to get in things early, but you may have to wait for something to, 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 to do like what happened with the previous one where it reversed and then it dropped that was not the case here though this went so 70 contracts 87.50 risk sold at ten dollars profit was sixty one thousand two hundred fifty dollars in one trade and a 700 percent return on investment and you could have held this into the last day which is crazy but you could have then on monday we did another strike in the spy we did the 440s and i call this in the pre-market 8 57 a.m so now we're into the following week, the week of the expiration on the 18th. So we rallied here first, then we didn't drop till here, then we dropped here. You could have actually got out here. We came down to 440 we, on that day. Again, this was early to me. So I said, we have plenty of time left. We were, I knew we had the Fed, we were up, then we fell, and then we gapped down here and here's all the money, all the money in the world. So this was another one that was cheap because we did it early. Dollar forty price, sixty contracts. Risk was eighty four hundred. Sold at eight. Profit was thirty nine thousand six hundred. Return on investment four hundred seventy one percent. These are trades we get. We don't get them every day. We don't get them every week, but we get them enough and we get them a lot. I tend to be early in trades. That is also one of the reasons why I'm successful and have such big winners. Again, that's why I tell people to hold stuff and don't risk more than you can afford to lose because if you have something that bounces back, you can hold it through. Again, I'm going to do a video on beginner risk, but this type of move and all these ones this whole week, whether they did one, whether they did everyone, whether they did half these trades this week, you, you know, can make your month and really make your whole quarter. We did the 425 NVIDIA's I called Monday, 944 NVIDIA. Oh yeah, that was here. So again, I remember this one. So this was here, and then it pushed back, and then it then it was down. Okay, this is the 18th, and then it fell. See that? But that that worked too. This didn't work as big as I thought. Uh, again, because of what it did. Cost was $7, 12 contracts, risk of 8400 sold at fourteen seventy five. Again, you could just, if you don't want to watch it, then you put a, put a sell order at 14 You pay 7 put a sell order at 14 You make 100%. Profit, 9300 again, exit on the 21st, day before. 370 Qs, this was late. I saw on Monday, 3 o'clock, that we were going to follow through. I called a late trade. I rarely call afternoon trades, but I did. The 370s, again, this is Monday, or was Monday. So I called it here. Then we gapped down the next day. Then we fell. Then we fell off a cliff. $2.60 for one. 35 contract was $9,100, sold $1,150, profit $31,150, and a return on investment of 342%. You would have had to be in it through this bump. Okay, which was over 370 for the one day when we were up on the Wednesday. This was the Monday. You know, you take a trade, you take risk. You're taking risk for a reason because you want to get paid. Then I also call the Netflix 390s. Again, was it late? Was it too late? Nope. Nope, it wasn't. So this was here. And this may not look like any much of anything at all, but it fell. Close to your gap down, I knew it was lower. Here's the drop. Again, nice little one. Three dollars and eighty cents. Twenty contracts. Risk was seventy six hundred. Sold at seven. Good enough. In fact, I think this was up more the last day, but I got out of it the Thursday. Sixty four hundred profit. Eighty four percent return on in investment in Netflix. 
Then we did right before the open Tuesday the 19th, the 325 Microsoft puts. This was going, this was selling, this was the 19th, closed here, gap down, push back, then fell off a cliff. This was a strange bar though that day. That was just a weird one that day. Um, but again, it followed through and gap down here and dropped in the morning on the 21st. $2.25 for the Microsoft. 40 contracts was $9,000 risk. Sold at 550 again on the 21st. Profit 13000 Return on investment 144%. Again, that day of the 21st, it was a weird bar because it closed kind of like a, a little guy here. But it was a good trade. It went. It worked. It sold off. It gapped down. It did everything it was supposed to do. And then Oracle was a good one. Oracle has been good. 926 on Tuesday the 19th before the open, we did the 112 Oracles. And again, this was closed here, gap down, fell, sold off. Again, Oracle was earnings. So again, you do it, you get in, get out. You do it, you get in, get out. So I just want to show you here in this particular one with the drop off and the sell off, what you could have done with it you know, whether you held it through, whether you got out that day, whether you, uh, you know, carried it all the way down. Again, you, if you held it, you had the, the, the pushback. If you got out of it, that was fine too. You also could have day traded this. Okay, so this was a good gap. You could have day traded it as well. Um, it was super duper, super duper, super duper cheap in my opinion. 90 cents. That's cheap. These are good ones to practice with. Like you could, if you wanted to, uh, 10 contracts or risk $900. Risk was 8,100 with 90 contracts. This is a plenty of volume. We only do things with volume. Sold 225, profit $12,150. Return on investment 150%. Nice move there in the Oracle. We did the QQQs. Strike 365 on Tuesday. Still morning, 10.42, a little bit late. But again, I saw it was dropping. I saw we were going. This was the 19th. Oh, yeah, here. So this close to your gap down, we started to sell off. I called the trade. It was about quarter of 11. Then it reversed into the close. Then it gapped up. Then the trade was down. Then it fell. Then it gapped down. And then it went. And so you see here, this fell on Wednesday into through the strike, which was 365 then gap down here in the next day and fell and fell through 360. And that's all the profit, that's all the money. That's the beautiful, beautiful profit. And this was cheap too, $1.75. 40 contracts was a $7,000 risk, sold at 680, profit $20,200 for a 289% return investment. Again, you're in this trade a couple of days. You are taking this trade on Tuesday and exiting this trade on Thursday. And where are you gonna get a move like that in basically three days? with a 300% almost return on investment. I don't I don't know if we're gonna see puts this cheap for the rest of the year, actually. Now that I'm looking at some of these from a couple weeks ago, this these were so cheap. Anyways, it was a good week and your risk should depend on the size of your account. Don't forget that you don't have any prerequisites if you wanna join this newsletter, you can join today and get Monday's trades. But if you want to learn, you can learn in the class. So the next class is called the Golden Gap Course, which is October 21st and 22nd, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a class on how to find, pick, and play professional bearish gaps. Class tuition is $69.99. Class is online, and you can be anywhere in the world and take it. The Trends Course is on the 24th, 11 to 3. That's a half-day class. You will learn how to find, pick, and play professional bearish gaps in the Golden Gap Course. Class tuition for the combo is $74.99. So this is well worth it. Because for $500 more, you get the combo and you get the trends class. Now, if you just want to do the newsletter, the newsletter, go to my website, www.thestockswish.com. You can look for the newsletter. Six-month subscription is $49.99 and 12-month subscription is $69.99. And just to go back here for this particular week, uh, just to review, and we got through everything here. Apple was the loser. And the rest were the winners. And again, this was the week of the 22nd, and I am always doing the weeklies. So 93% win ratio, 14 winners, one loser. Again, Apple was a loser. If you have questions about your risk, you can ask me. 
Options are something you can do with a cash account. You do not need a margin account to do options, but you can have it set up as a margin account if you want. The options newsletter is where I do the options. The day trade room is day trades. The trading room, the live trading room is not an option room. It's day trades where you have to have a margin account. Or if you want to do my day trades as options, you can. But if you want to get my options calls, you would sign up for this newsletter. And again, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com if you'd like more information. Or if you want to sign up for the Golden Gap class for October or the newsletter, which you can sign up at any time with, with no prerequisites. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste any time because it is earnings season and we had even a good day today. Thanks everybody, have a great day.